okay? <laughs> Looks so good. <laughs> You look so handsome. How are you feeling? Oh, good. <laughs> good now. Yeah. He <laughs> <It> smokes. <laughs> From early on, our coming baby was affectionately known as Jilly Bee, and that has never changed for us. And she's still our baby. I was waiting through all the memories, never was Letting go of Jillian won't be easy. Jillian and I have always enjoyed some contemplative times up north fishing together after dinner. Jill is an excellent fisher person because she knows how to keep quiet, sit still, and keep her line in the water. When we returned from our trips, Denise often asks us what we talked about and, and we would simply say, well, we mostly just fished which usually prompted a monstrous eye roll and pejoratives about weirdly stunted introverts. I like to think we shared a lot of conversations and that I told you how proud I am of you and how it is a delight to be your dad and how much I love you. If I didn't say it, I did think it and wanted to say it. I was trying to communicate it when I said, good looking bass, Jill, way to go. Being one in spirit and of one mind, do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of others. I think there are two lessons that this text imparts. You ought to love Christ unitedly and you ought to love each other selflessly. Love is essentially a commitment to another's well-being, even at one's own expense. was it that first attracted Jill to Adam? Well, it was his friendliness. He was easy to talk to. And when I asked Jill, what is it about Adam now that you most admire? She said his kindness. These are very good qualities that Adam has. When I asked Adam, what, what is it about Jill that first attracted you? He said her timidity. She was shy and a very alluring way. And when I asked Adam, what is it now about Jill that you most admire? He said, quite interestingly, she's not afraid to say what she thinks needs to be said. 
Shy Girl is Shy No More. And Adam's love has grown with her. I do. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Adam has always been a very good friend, whether it be to his brother Lucas or to others that he has helped during difficult times. And this also, of course, applies to his best friend, Jill. Jill, you are such a blessing for Adam. We are so thankful for you. You bring an intelligence into our house that we otherwise would have never have experienced. Just kidding, of course, boys. As Vanderbilt's, we would like to think that there are many different kinds of intelligence. Let's go. <laughs> In all seriousness, we love Jill, and we think she's perfect for Adam. She is kind, patient, loving, gentle, yet assertive when she needs to be a good listener and offers wise advice when needed. Not to mention, we love her mini cheesecakes. Although, Jill, this ain't no Taylor Swift concert, we hope marrying Adam is the second most exciting thing that has happened to you in your life this year. Welcome to our family. In the past couple years, Adam has interrupted these stirring conversations by coming along on our fishing trips. Unlike Jill, he spends a lot of time untangling his fishing line, switching between live bait and lures, emitting large plumes of bait gases, and wondering aloud why Jill is catching more fish than him. We have enjoyed his company and the comic relief as we fished. We are so excited to welcome you into the family and look forward to you being another son to us, and we will try to be supportive extra parents to you. Jillian Vanderveld, thank you for being support and mentor to my brother throughout the years you've known each other. I really can only say thank you for what you have done for him and the rest of our family just by being yourself. For, from my family, we will be here if you ever need our support as well. Here's to Adam and Joe. 